Hi guys, James from Measure Square here. In today's Getting Started video, we're going to introduce you to the Measure Square Stone Edition. To begin, let's go to MeasureSquare.com and click on Software. Let's click Stone Takeoff to go to the Stone Version web page. To get started, we can click on Free Trial. Next, let's log in, or click on Don't Have an Account to set up a new one. To create a new project, we can click on the green plus New Project button. Let's enter in a project name, our unit of measure, the saw width, the first cut direction, and the cut level. Note, the cut level allows us to choose between five levels of cut complexity, with level six being the most complex and optimized for layouts. Once we have our project settings selected, we can click the Save button. For large-scale projects, we can click Download Template to work with an Excel template for our materials and products. First, let's click on the Materials tab and enter in our material information and size. Next, let's go to the Product tab and paste in our project's material or materials into the Material column. We can then modify the tag to represent different slab types and enter in the width and length information as well as quantity of our products. We can also choose whether or not each product is rotatable on the slab. We can save our Excel file and go back to our web page for our project and select Import from Excel. We can then select our file and click Open. Click OK on the pop-up. Once all our products are made, we can click the Start Cut button in the top left to lay out our products on our material. We can look at our slab layout in a list view or a large view and see how many slabs are needed in each layout. To manually add materials to a small project, we can use the web page directly by clicking the Add button. We can enter in the material name, the dimensions of our material in inches, and the number of slabs of that product we have. Once our info is entered, we can choose to save and close, or if we have additional materials, we can choose save and create new and make those as well. Next, let's make our products for this project by clicking the add button. We can add in a tag, the product name, and dimensions for our product. In this case, we'll build a small kitchen island with the dimension 60 by 30 inches. We can enter in the quantity of the product next. We can also indicate if we want the product to be rotatable. If we have more products to make, we can click Save and Create New. Next, let's make a few more small slabs for our kitchen. Once all our products are made, we can click the Start Cut button in the top left to lay out our products on our material. We can look at our slab layout in a list view or a large view and see how many slabs are needed in each layout. Once we have viewed all our slabs, we can click the Download PDF button to see a printout of our project. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more videos.